Hey everyone, it's good to have you back and uh, I just hope you're taking care of yourself but you know, let's just dive straight in. So, hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Geek and you are welcome to this fantastic tutorial on Canva. Before we get started, make sure to smash the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get notified anytime I upload new videos. So, let's jump straight into Canva and let me just pull it up, okay. So here we are in Canva and uh, you know before you get started you need to set your custom dimensions which is 1080 by 1350 okay then you create design then you open something like this but you know you can also choose your custom dimension with whatever you want to use for your design okay so yeah i'm just going with this because this is what i choose fine so today i do not want to waste your time at all and i want to be sharp 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 so <laughs> yeah <laughs> This thing should load up quickly because I don't want to waste anyone's time. Okay, so I would first of all add my shape and I would increase the size to something like this. And I will push it here. And, uh, you know, I think I would rather want to change the dimension of today's post. Okay, so sorry about this, but pardon me also. I'll do 1080 by 1080 which would be a perfect square okay i don't know why i chose 1080 1350 i don't know. okay yes this is what i'm looking for so i'll just copy this and come here paste you know and as human beings sometimes you know we just make decisions and we say uh oh, why did i make this decision you know but yeah okay so then i'll add my photo and as always if you want high quality photos you can check on splash.com pixels uh and the like you know i have a post on my instagram on photos so i think you should check it out okay and uh, yeah okay so i'll use this photo and i'll just hit it here then because i want to be stay consistent on colors i'll go for a photo like this maybe i'll go for a blue you know yeah something to match you know and that's one uh tip you should always take into consideration when you're working with when you're working any design you know try as much as possible to stay consistent with your colors okay so something like this is fine and um i'll go back into the elements and i'll use this thing is taking too much time okay okay so i'll use this again and this time around i want something smaller and i'll place it here and i'll change the color to a lighter you know i'm using the colors generated from this photo and you know that's one cool thing i love about canva it helps you to stay consistent you know so um yeah someone outside is making some noise okay so I'll duplicate this Ctrl C Ctrl V and you know let me rather delete. I'm searching for another one. There's this nice one Canva has. Yeah, this is what I'm looking for. This is what I'm looking for. So I'll reduce the size and I'll bring that also somewhere here. Okay, and I'll change the color. So you see already this is looking beautiful. So clean and so fresh so the next thing i'm going to do is to search for line l i n e line that's how to spell line okay then you click on it just in case you know you your mouse isn't working try to use your trackpad if your trackpad isn't working uh, i don't know what <laughs> benjamin stay serious be serious you know sometimes i forgot not i forgot but i forget uh, you know they are, I make this video to teach people and they are watching this okay so now keep this here so I want to be able to wait so okay yeah and um, this is what I'll do this is what I'll do then I'll shift this a little bit to have 
good so i'll group and change the colors for both to something like this no let me stay consistent so this okay then control c control v and i'll bring this i'll just rotate oh my god okay so 90 then it means i have to ungroup first and um, bring this here okay okay then again and uh, i think yeah and i would group then i would move this here okay so i think already we are getting somewhere interesting so the next thing we can do is you can add the logo and i love to use this thing i worked on some time ago i created a tutorial also on it on how to create mockups and you know how i even created this and the idea the most important thing is the idea behind it not the creation because you can see it's just squares but we would also want to know why i chose this design okay so i created a tutorial explaining it creating it creating mockups and all of that so yeah and uh, this would come here and i'll try to you know and this is what i'll be using for all my tutorials you know just like a tutorial logo sort of and it's a whole brand i'm also like trying to create for myself aside the african geek so yeah and um i'll reduce the size okay to something like then it will be here i want it to be here okay so that we have the okay then control c control v where are you then i'll move this here awesome nice i think this is already looking beautiful okay so the next thing i'm going to do is to add some text okay then just press t on your keyboard put this here and Montserrat. okay so i'll go no i want a border so anton this has a funny name so i would say find okay no v we create designs designs that live okay so there's actually what i try that's what i do for african geek so i try to create designs that live in the heart of people so yeah that's what i'll use over here and uh reduce the size and i think i would also the line spacing a little bit mm. let me see something like this okay so i think again i would change the color yeah that's so i would go for a darker yeah i think that uh, let me maybe let me just make it more darker because you know we are trying to yeah so i think this is fine i sometimes forget to speak when i'm designing like <laughs> sorry about that though okay so i think we create designs that live then i'll make this now i want to highlight this you know so maybe i can use a different color you know with a contrast Okay, this is looking cooler and fresher and uh, yeah, I want to bring this here. Then I have this Lorem Impenso, sorry, Lorem Impsum the Law Seat and Met Consul, uh, you know, something like this. So normally I just come here to, uh, you know, it's, this is dummy text, you know, I don't know what it means. I was reading about it some time ago, but it's like it was just boring okay then i'll paste okay so it means with this you can have access to it okay i'll make it a template and uh, i'll also tell you how to go about it 
no let me just put this here okay and uh, maybe this can can come down here okay so that you know yeah i think this is looking good to me but just in case you don't like it you know just flow you know create yours and uh, try to put things where you want so let me just do this okay and there uh, okay so i think so that you know all of these also get to stay in the same line okay so let's say we want to give more details but i'll just group this and lock okay and um okay i think everything here is fine and uh, now i would want to maybe bring this here okay okay so I'll bring it down a little bit or so nice i think i'll add another line and i'll change the color to the same color reduce and bring it down here okay so yeah and now reduce this control c control v you know it's just me playing around the lines playing with the lines and all of that okay so i can control c control v and come to give like more details or something like that here so i can just play with the alignment and canva oh i've forgotten the shortcut but canva has the shortcut to play with the alignment or so let me see is it control shift control shift l yeah control shift l for left alignment control shift right for right alignment and control shift c for center alignment okay so yeah and i'll increase this a little bit and this can have maybe more information you want potential clients to know okay yeah So I think this is maybe it should come down something like that and I'll be align the shapes to be just beneath it. Then I'll just make it come down because I want this to be in the same line as this. Okay, so yeah. Then what we can do is to add let me use this, okay okay so okay i think this is better there's one thing about design you keep adjusting adjusting till you are very satisfied okay so yeah i think this is fine then maybe you add some contact you know i'll just put um a website so i'll say www dot um my site my awesome site my <laughs> <laughs> awesome site.com okay and uh yeah. okay so yeah and i'll reduce it to somewhere like here and i'll play place it here so maybe i'll look for the Montserrat you know the normal Montserrat and i'll keep this here also but depending on what you want okay this is just an example or something just to give you an idea okay so i think the next thing i'll do is just to add some social media uh icons so i'll search for facebook and i'll add it so i'll select facebook and i'll change the color so i'll go for um we use the blue so the blue okay so this is the blue we use okay wow i think it's looking beautiful and we'll just make it smaller and uh, we can just place it here uh, okay so i think maybe let me just take this up you know a bit then um what we can do is let's do something interesting it's not lying as well i wanted us to do something interesting so okay so i think this is fine then we would add instagram so instagram and yeah 
so this just has to say that you know you can check me out on instagram i have some interesting content i'm sure you like you know and if you don't like it just let me know okay so something like this and the last one is called twitter so t w i t t twitter okay so yeah and i'll also change the color to this and make it smaller okay so now put it here it's not really aligning like the size of the twitter looks okay i think oh no okay you know let me just leave it like this it's just to give you an idea like i was doing so i'll group them so that it can be easier to move them around it means that this is way above this okay so i think it should come okay something like this is cool and this is the design we have so yeah i think this is interesting it's looking clean to me and i don't think there's any change so this is what i want to say now you can have access to this and you know all you have to do is to tap on the link there's a link to this file okay so once you um, get access to it what you have to do is you go into your shared with you okay this folder here shared with you then you just click on it okay it will open it up you see it here uh it's how come it's not loading okay let me just refresh oh my goodness but all i'm trying to say is you know you just come to the shared with you folder oh come on everything is working fine how come so you just go to the shared with you folder okay then you just make a copy of it okay and it's it's very easy to make a copy okay it's loading now so i just want to demonstrate how to okay so yeah so you just click on the triple dot over here you make a copy of it okay and um, you know it's copied to all my designs so now i have access to it and this if i make changes here it wouldn't apply to the original copy and this is just because i haven't um purchased the you know the canva pro yet which i'll be doing that very soon but i'm still like trying to figure things out and all of that so yeah that's how to get access to it or to use it without interview because a lot of people will be having access to it so if you make changes to the original copy anyone who comes to uh, see it you know would actually see what you have done with it okay so you just have to make a copy of it then it would go into your um, designs you know all your designs then you can work on it okay so yeah that's how to go by it and i'm sure you enjoyed this tutorial and you know check out i have some interesting content coming out and i don't know if i close them also but let me see um there are so many content i have on instagram and you, you know african geeks and you can just check me out and i am sure you'd enjoy it these are some of the things i have for you so yeah the name is benjamin and you know there are more tutorials coming up so make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get notified anytime i upload new videos so i'll see you in my next video.